All right, let's go and do a video on this. I'm not going to do a pod review on this, but I just want to show you the plant. Now, now most of you guys are, are familiar with the Kathumbi Black. And when I got that pepper, I think it was like an F5 or an F6 originally. And so it was pretty stable, and it comes out pretty much consistent the way it is as far as the phenotype and everything goes. However, um, I want to show you a variation that comes out. Every now and again, I get that from this variety. And... It'll come out every so many. It, uh, it could just be that it's the genetics are still stabilizing, but I do get this variation. And so what happened was with this one is I, it happened to me once or twice as I was growing it. I noticed I had a couple plants that were producing these red pods. With Kasumbi black, they're usually like a maroon color. So I, the first time I chucked all the peppers out, I got rid of them. The second time it happened, I kept the seeds and I figured let me grow a couple of them out just to see if it comes true to itself. And so I grew out a bunch of them. A couple of plants died, but this one lived. And that's what we're looking at over here. And so let's take a closer look at the pods. And so this would be considered an F2 at this point. But as you can see, they look very similar to the Kathumbi Black. You know, if you're looking at that right there. It's very similar. It's not quite as black as the uh, Kathumbi Black. And the pods look the same as the Kathumbi Black. Sometimes they get a little larger than normal, like over here you can see one's getting a little on the larger side. But the difference between this one and Kathumbi Black is, number one, the pods, even though they're exposed to bright, fresh, direct, brand new sunlight, the pods don't get as black as Kathumbi Black. They do get a shadowing on them, like a purple or a black shadowing on them. I'll show you around the plant too. But when they ripen, they turn red instead of maroon color. So here's one here. We'll pick that one off. They turn into this color here. Okay, so that's a nice red color. And um, they can range anywhere in size from, eh, you know, it really depends on the year. Where if it's really late in the year, the pods don't really develop. But they could generally range in size from something like that. So even as big as something like this, that's what I've noticed. You get a couple on here that are big like that. Let me just show you around the other side here. I mean, these, this plant here is probably, it's probably about five feet tall too. Just so you know, these, this plant can get pretty large if you grow it outdoors like this. And so let's take a look underneath and you can see that this plant is absolutely loaded with peppers. Um, again, here it is. It's kind of got like a purplish hue on it rather than black. Um, is there a difference between the black and the purple when it comes to that sunlight protection, sunscreen hue, whatever you want to call that stuff? A slight difference. Some of them are purple like this one. You can kind of see that that's kind of on the purple side. And then, uh, you know, you can see that the fruits obviously turn, they turn red when they ripen. So maybe I will do, do a uh, pod review for you guys. I'll spin you around really quick and we'll do a pod review and see what goes on with this. But yeah, I mean, look at that. I mean, this thing is absolutely loaded with pots. So what I'm doing for now, I don't know what to do with this thing, to be honest with you, as far as, I'm not gonna throw it out per se. Like here, here's one down here. I'm not gonna chuck them out. I think what I'll do is I'll offer a limited time. I'll just collect all the seeds off of this and then I'll offer it <clears throat> uh, as Kathumbi Red because I don't know what else to call it. I guess you could call it Kathumbi Purple because you, if you look at these pods, they do look purple. Okay, so they do got like a purple color on it, but I'm calling them red because when they ripen, they literally ripen to this red color. It's a beautiful red color. And so, let's... All right, welcome back, everybody. We are going to do a pod review today on this pepper right here, and I'm calling it the Kathumbi Red. Now, again, most of you are probably familiar with the Kathumbi Black, which is a maroon-colored finish pepper when it's fully ripe, these turn red. And this is just a variation that comes out of that uh, particular variety every so often. So I normally chuck those out, but I figured let's offer some of these to see if you guys want to kind of stabilize it a little more and kind of see what comes out of it. Oftentimes when you do a cross, you know, you, you'll get several variations of different phenols that come out of them. And you always save the one that you want. But if you if you want to do it really right, and if you have the room to actually do it, you would save each one of those variations and then grow those out. Each one of those variations and grow those out. And that would become what's called 
what we would refer to as a line of variety. So the variety produces X amount of line that comes out of it. And when you do that, you get all these strange different little variations. And some of them can be quite different, have nothing to do with a pepper that looks anything like this. I mean, almost bell peppers will pop out of it. And you're like, where did that come from? So anyway, that's it. That's what we got here. This is, this is one, again, this one pops up every now and again. Uh, usually I chuck those out or I just, you know, I'll, I'll pick them and then I'll eat them or make a sauce or something out of it. Uh, but I usually don't do anything with them. I don't save the seed. But, and uh, what I'll do is I'll... I'll keep the seed to this one and I'll offer it as a limited time offer on it and then I'm probably not going to regrow it again. And hopefully you guys will be able to regrow it and then stabilize it from there. I'm too busy to kind of fool around with that right now. But that's up to you if you want to give it a try. It's a nice little pepper and so let's give it a go and see what it tastes like. Cheat on that thing. Wow! Mmm! Okay, let's let that heat build. Boy, guys, that is extremely hot. I didn't expect that. That's very, very hot. Uh, wow. Holy shit, that's got me nervous here. Wow, that is pounding. That is extremely aggressively hot, guys. Whoa. Give me a minute here. Whew. Oh, man. Almost got a little gag reflex going there. I almost feel like chucking a little bit or gagging. I got some of it down. I couldn't get it all down. I had to spit this shit out. This shit is cooking hot. Holy mackerel. This thing is hot, guys. Whoa. Whew. Wow. That's rough, man. Whoa. Those are red hot, guys. Holy smokes. Wow. <clears throat> Got my phlegm going. <coughs> I'm loosening up my lungs. Oh, that's very hot, man. Holy smokes. I didn't expect that. As soon as I bit that thing, wow, it exploded. Ooh. Oh, wow. Ooh. Boy, that's hot, guys. That's up there heat-wise. That thing's got a... It's got like an aggressive, immediate strike. It's starting to come down a little. Ooh, it it it, it, it hit the back of the throat a little. The, the main majority of the, the intensity of the burn was like the front and top of my tongue. Oh my God, you have no idea how painful this is. See my eyes are watering? That's painful, guys. That was powerful. Holy smokes, man. That got me nervous for a minute. I didn't expect that. I thought that was going to come in like a reaper or like a uh, scorpion pepper. And the way the heat started uh, coming in was like, whew, whew, wow. I need to come down from that thing. <coughs> oh, my God. I didn't expect that. Kathumbi Black's not even as hot as that thing. Wow. Okay. I think I'm getting my faculties together here. I'm not going to uke anyway. That thing was potent, guys. That was a dangerously hot pepper. Oh, my God. It, it, it Again, when I ate it, the heat came out immediately. I could, was barely able to chew the thing before the heat started coming out and firing up my whole mouth. Immediately it came out and struck. It was powerful, and it came in like a gangbuster. The, uh, the power of that heat was so strong, I couldn't even really fully swallow. I swallowed some of the saliva, and I thought I was going to puke from that. But this was extraordinarily hot, guys, for that pepper. Uh, this would, I would put this probably past a Pekin pepper. Way past the Pekin. Pekins are quite hot. Pekins can be in 100,000, 200. Uh, as far as like temperature-wise, where would I put the heat on this? Well, that's a rough one. The way it hit me and the way it came in right out the gate like that, I didn't have any time to react to it. That's like an anum type of a burn, but like the most hottest anum I've ever had. Oh my God. What I can't say is what I think that the temperature of this thing would be around at least a half a million. This thing was, holy smokes. 
I'm like like a little bit shaking. I got, got a little bit of an adrenaline response for that. That's how powerful that thing was. I was actually shocked. I can't believe that was that hot. It's hotter than a regular Kathumbi by a, maybe two times, three times as hot as a regular Kathumbi. Maybe even more than that. My guesstimate for this one is probably somewhere around uh, about a half a million and potentially higher. I'd say it's up there around there. You're getting you're getting into the seven pot range. Normally with these little peppers, they're not seven pot really. I mean, they, they get hot and stuff, but the seven pot seed with those kind of peppers, they have a slow delayed reactionary thing. So you can actually eat the whole pepper and actually swallow uh, a scorpion or a seven pot or a reaper. And you don't really feel it until it kicks in. And that's why you puke for those things. This thing wasn't like that. As soon as I bit this thing, it, the fury of the heat came out of that un, at an unbelievably aggressive level. Oh, and it was powerful. It came in really strong and then it just, it's now it's like almost gone. Wow, that was, that was a, that was a trip. Um, wasn't expecting that. It was very strong. Very, very strong. Again, probably in the half million range. I, I'm sticking with that number. I'm not going any lower. It could be, if I was to give it a high end number, like what its potential could be, maybe even three quarters of a million possibly. It, it's, it's that kind of a pepper. Holy smokes. That really threw me for a loop. Whew. What I can say is that um, I, I don't know how stable this is. Like I, like I said, this is like a variation that comes out of it every so often. So I don't know. What I can say is, is I will offer those. You can pick those up and give it a try for yourself. Again, we'll call it the Kathambi Red because I don't know what else to call it. It's from the Kathambi. It's just not the bl fully black version. The fully black Kathambi Blacks, only when they're 100% fully ripe do you start to see the maroon modeling color that comes out of the pepper. In general, the pepper stays fully black, and I mean it stays black. This isn't black. This is more like like a purple color, and then they ripen to red. That red pepper, when it's red like that, wow. Beware of that thing. Here it is. Wow, I couldn't even eat the whole pepper, man. Ooh. It was rough. It was rough. So anyway, guys, let me bring it back by the plan. I wasn't going to do a pod review, but... Because I have other things today I gotta do, but I'll bring you back over there. I'll just show you the plant really good and then uh, we'll end the video. So, anyway, let's take a look. See, all my peppers out here are doing good, but I took all the peppers in the, in the greenhouse out and uh, we they, they pretty much got destroyed by the aphids, so I didn't really end up with many peppers. Next year, this whole outdoor garden over here on this side is all gonna be all peppers next year. Uh, we got probably 300 varieties of peppers to grow, so we're, gonna, we're probably going to have to even expand this garden outwards that way another 20 feet. And Because uh, I still got to plant tomatoes too. But this whole thing here, I should be able to fit at least 90 of them, and then the rest I could keep in the greenhouse. But anyway, here it is. And uh, so yeah, this is the plant. So you can see how tall this thing is, guys. You know? You see how tall that is? I mean, that's like basically at my head height, and I'm 5'10". So, like, to give you an idea of the height of it, again, the peppers come out like that. Sometimes they turn olive. They get, like, a smoky brown, purpley tone to them, as you can see there. Let me find another one. And then, eventually, they turn red like this. That's how we'll, uh, we'll, we'll put it on the pictures. But, yeah, give this one a try. It's pretty hot. It's up to you. You guys want to stabilize it and uh, keep it going, then that's up to you. You can do that. Me, I'm just going to pick these this one time, offer it as a one-time offer, and when it runs out, it runs out. I'm not going to pursue it because I'm sure that that plant may throw out another pheno here and there. All right, guys. So anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Take care.